you're back. My next guest was on the cover of this year's Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue. Now she's on the uh, Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Calendar. Please welcome the beautiful and sexy... I'll be selling these downstairs later. The beautiful and sexy Petra Nemkova. Thank you, sir. I'll see you later. Now, uh, I'm sure the fellas love me. Now, I know, I know that sometimes the two kiss, but you said do three. Yeah, actually, that's the Dutch way from Holland. Oh. I have lots of friends in Holland, and uh, it's, I like it. You know, it's sometimes in France, they do two. You're right. In the north of France, they do four. Right. So it's kind of confusing for uh, people. Like I'm from you... Boston, and we do six. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, that didn't work. <laughs> She started reaching for mace. I didn't even think you had some. You, well, you're very beautiful. Thank you very much for being here. It's nice to have you. Thank you, you for inviting me. You are from, let me get this straight, you're from Czechoslovakia. Czech Republic. Czech Republic. Yes, yes. Yes, Czech Republic now, yes. Okay, well, I'm, you know, very ignorant. Um, you're from the Czech Republic, and uh, I'm, I, I'm ignorant of the special Christmas rituals that they, that they have in that country. Are there different Christmas rituals that you grew up with? Definitely. We have um, uh, lots of uh, Christmas um, kind of uh, yeah, rituals. Traditions. Uh, traditions and things that you do. Yeah. Exactly. And they are different than here. They're kind of this, they are a little bit weird. Actually, what do we do? Like two days before Christmas, mm -hmm. we go and get the uh, fish, uh, the carp. And a carp, a yes, fish. Yes. yes. And we, it depends on the family. If it's a big, bigger family, they get two of them. And, mm -hmm. and they're alive. And we keep them in our bathtubs. And <laughs> you put a carp in your bathtub. Yes. Okay. And as a kid, we wake up in the middle of night and we go play with them and, and then go play with the carp in the yes. bathtub. Yes. And okay. Then when we want to take a shower, we just you know take them away, put them somewhere else, take a shower, and put them back in a in a bathtub. Uh huh. And uh, for the Christmas day, my father he clothes himself in the kitchen, just kills them, and then we have them for dinner. Which is kind of a weird tradition. Yeah, but... what does that have to do with Christmas in any way, <laughs> well, shape, or form? Well, the, 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 the carp is a traditional Christmas dinner. So, yes. And, you know, so we have it for Christmas Eve. We have a, a, this fish. But the two days before, I don't know where it came from, but... Someone's I... having a joke, I think. No, no, Someone's... No, 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 no. It came in the past. In the past, they, you know, they didn't have money to, to buy things. So they right. just went to the lake. Right. The lake was frozen. They cut out the hole in the lake. They went fishing, and they get, there was the only fish which they could get in the, you know, in Czech Republic. We don't have, like... Right. You know, and then ocean. they just sort of kept it around for exactly. two days, and then you uh, eat exactly. it. Exactly. But they I would think it. you would form an emotional bond with the fish. Fish. If it was around and well, you were playing with it, I would start to think, oh, there's Mr. Fishy. And then when I ate it, it would, it would be hard. I know. We grow, grow up with it, so it doesn't, you know, to us it's like just normal. Right. But I know if, if somebody looked at it like, oh my God, it's really brutal, actually. Right. Well, no, so. it's just a carp. <laughs> um, <laughs> people are like, oh my God. <laughs> Uh, what about any other rituals? Are there uh, anything that in involves like sweets or anything yes, that kids like? Yeah, well, um, at the Christmas dinner, after we eat our carp, actually bef before, my mom, she takes the wafers and she puts honey on it. Oh, honey, and, yeah. And then she, each of us gets, gets the honey and then she takes the honey and sneaky, she just puts it on our cheeks like this. And it's, you know, uh, it's for the reason is to be beautiful for the next year. Right. So we just have, like, each of us, we just, like, putting uh, honey. Um, we have, like, a fight. We have, like, a war, honey war. So each of <laughs> everybody from the family is just, like, having a war with the honey. If right? you want to have a honey war with me now, <laughs> that'd be hard for it. Now it's different. <laughs> They're like, let's rub ourselves with honey. Well, come on, it's a tradition. I think if there, if there is any kind of war, it should be a honey war. Honey war is better. Sweet I agree war, with you. Yeah. That's nice. Um, your grandfather, I understand, is a very colorful character. Your grandfather <laughs> that you grew up with. Yes, um, I spent lots of time at the at the mountains with my grandfather and grandma, and, and we used to go like um, pick up um, blueberries and blackberries. And then mm -hmm. my grandfather is just, as you said, he's a character. We used to. He used to f uh, hide in high grass, and we, when we used to go walk with my sister, he would make the sound of a wild pig. So we would like, ah! <laughs> okay, that sounds wrong, what he's doing. <laughs> I was with you, and I thought this was all sweet, and now I think... 
This man is hiding from you and pretending to be a wild boar. Yes. Hmm, all right. I'm going to have the authorities look into this. Uh, you know, you're always on these exotic locations all the time when you shoot the... And it, it, to, to, to all of us, it looks terrific. You know, you're in the, the bathing suits and you're on the exotic locations. And, uh, you know, it, it just must be an amazing experience. You, is it really, they say it's hard work, but is it really hard work? Aren't you just having a great well, time? Well, you usually have to wake up quite early, like 3.30 in the morning and stuff right. like that. So, right. And, you know, everybody's like, oh, you have seen such amazing sunrise and sunset, but you're always back to the sunrise and sunset, so you never see So too much of anything gets to be, gets yeah. to be uh, work. Well, well, it's you know there are, you know everything has good plus, good things and bad things and right. but there are sometimes like you know weird things happening like at the other time I shot um, uh, uh, we shot in the ocean and and then you know I got stung stung by the a jellyfish mm -hmm. and I you know it was like all over my neck yeah, and my shoulder. Yeah, that's a big Yeah, it was, but it was actually thin, thin thing, and mm -hmm. but it made a lot, you know, lot around. And then next day, I flew to New York and I shot in a studio, and the makeup artist didn't say anything. And then I said, "Well, I got stung by a jellyfish," and he goes like, "Wow, I thought you had a wild sex." I'm like, "Okay, yeah." <laughs> <laughs> You know what I do whenever I get stung by jellyfish? I tell people it's the wild sex. Because <laughs> it's a much cooler story than I was waiting around and a jellyfish got me. Yeah, I, I understand I, you, you have a present before we go. Is that true? It's um, behind yes. you, and I don't know what it is. They, they wouldn't let me see. They covered it up. Uh, here we go. This is nice. What is this? What's this? Oh, wow. Yeah. You know, there was enough of Petronium Kovam, mm -hmm. so let me see if it goes. What are you <laughs> doing? <you> know. <laughs> oh, I, I, I thought this... you were having a fit of some kind. Oh. Here we go. Okay. I got this idea that the oh, first yeah, man right. okay, on the yeah, cover yeah, of Sports right. Illustrated yeah. should be you. <laughs> To be yeah, a that was very confusing for a lot of men in the audience. <laughs> the 2004 Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Calendar is in stores now, and Petr will be appearing at the Muscle Team Gala for the Muscular Dystrophy Association at Chelsea Piers in New York City on January 6th. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you very Happy much. Happy holidays. Happy yeah, holidays. great to have you. you. Petra Nemkova will take a break and be right back to the stills. My next guest come to us from Montreal. They're here tonight with a song from their new album, Logic Will Break Your Heart. Please welcome The Stills. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. Hey, that's great. Thanks. Thanks for doing it. The Stills, everybody, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Well, folks, that's our show. Have a good time? Thank All right. You. Stay tuned for Last Call with Carson Daly. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, I was, uh, I was feeling pretty good at that point. <laughs> <laughs> then there was a knock at the door. Huh? <laughs> it was Glenn Campbell. <laughs> he asked to borrow some Christmas wrapping paper. I said, I hope you're going to use it to cover your face. <laughs> then Glenn Campbell snapped my arm off. <laughs> then he ran across the room and shaved the word ass into Max's head <laughs> and jumped into Joel's floor toilet. <laughs> It was the best Christmas ever, man. Welcome to NBC's last...